Hey, this is Razorback Athletes in Action, and we wanted to share with you guys this evangelism tool we call the train that our Razorback athletes use with their teammates and on campus, and we've seen God use it in some pretty cool ways. We call it the train because it's going to determine what's pulling your eternity. Is it your good works, or is it the cross of Jesus Christ and the work that he's done on our behalf? So let's just jump into it, and I'll explain how we share it when we come across it athlete who doesn't know the gospel. So what most people here, especially in the Bible Belt, they believe in God. They believe in Jesus. They're cultural Christians, the same way many people are cultural Catholics, um, but they don't truly understand the core of our faith. So we'll start out just showing, man, you believe in Jesus, represented by my cross here, which is important. Plus, you told me you went to church growing up. Plus, you do things like, I don't know, read your Bible or come to some of our team Bible studies. Plus, you do good things, maybe give your money to charity or to poor whenever there's a need. A lot of people will say, you know, I've been baptized. That's got to look good in God's eyes. But what most people are really, really banking on at the end of the day is, I'm a good person. And the problem with this is, this is a man-made religion because they're saying, man, I believe in Jesus, plus I've done all these good things. Hopefully one day that will add up to equal eternal life. And like I said, this is not biblical Christianity at all. This is something we've made up. We're putting our faith in the things that we have done. Here's what the Bible says. The Bible says it's about Jesus, represented by my cross, and Jesus alone. And that we have to put 100% faith in Him. And we need to define faith. Faith means trust. You're trusting that Christ has paid for all your sins, past, present, and future. And that Christ was buried and He was raised from the dead. And He will raise you when you put that kind of trust in Him, that He's paid for everything. And when you do that, you have 100% eternal life. It's not because of anything you've done. It's because he said it's been done. You have 100% eternal life. And here's the cool part. As a follower of Jesus Christ myself, I don't do these things so that one day I can go to heaven. I already possess heaven. I, I have a relationship with Christ. Like, guess what? I want to be around God's people. And I want to get together and I want to worship this one who died for me. I want to study God's word. It's intriguing to me knowing how much of an enemy I was of Jesus Christ, yet he loved me enough to die in my place. Yeah, I think I want to know about that guy. And I tell people, you know, before I was a Christian, you couldn't have paid me to give money away. That's how selfish and greedy I was. Now my wife and I, we look for opportunities to give to missions, to give to the poor, to give to the needy. And man, I'm not getting baptized so that God will approve of me. I'm getting baptized as an act of obedience and following Christ and to identify to my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Man, that I'm a follower and learner of Jesus Christ. And then we always tell people there's, there's two differences between these two smiley faces. This one's happiness determined by my circumstances. Things are going great, man. I'm, I'm a lot of fun to be around. Things aren't going great, you, you probably best just leave me alone. And this one's joy. And joy never changes. Because joy comes from knowing that you have a God who loves you for you and not anything you've done or will do, but he's done everything on your behalf. So this is what we call the train. What's pulling your eternity? Is it the good things that you've done? Or is it the cross of Jesus Christ? And then we'll ask somebody when we're sharing this with them. Let's say this is the A train. This is the B train. Which one of these best defines your life? And we let them answer. And it's incredible. Even here in the Bible Belt South, where the majority of people are going, going to church their whole lives, 90%, over 90% will say, man, I'm, I'm the top one. I'm the A-train. Because essentially what they're doing is they're, they're putting a lot of faith in Jesus. They won't quantify it this way, but they're probably saying Jesus is the most important, obviously, so he's got to get me at least halfway there, and then 
I need to start going to church. Maybe that's 15%. If I read my Bible, that's 10%. And hopefully it'll all add up to equal eternal life. And especially me being a good person. But what the Bible says is there are no good people. And that will not get us there. And when you put your faith in Jesus plus these other things, that's called idolatry. Because these things are not Jesus Christ. They are things that we've done. Those are our good works. So we'll look at the person if they said that. And out of love, tell them, you know, we can't judge your heart, but the Bible says you do not have eternal life. And you need to put your faith in Jesus and give him the glory that he deserves, that he's paid for all of your sins, even your future ones, that you don't need to go and do these things to earn your way to heaven. And what's it going to take for you to follow Christ that way? And then we let them answer, and then we invite them to walk with Jesus and pray right now to invite the Lord into their lives.